Right, good morning everyone. Early ish start this morning. I need to get the uh, need to get started with taking the um the silage to the biogas plant. So that's what we're gonna be doing to start with. I'm not gonna film all the drive Look, every morning you end up with these deer everywhere. Um I'm not gonna film all the driving because it's not gonna be uh the best thing, but it won't be the most exciting thing for you, but it's lovely to see all the wildlife out, but it's such a quiet little village. I just venture in. Um, so yeah, gonna go get that. We're gonna go get the Dusvar fired up and leave it running to get it warm for a little bit, because that's got that's a heavy load. It's got to pull straight away after two weeks of not moving. Uh, I I did look it up by the way, so. So this tractor, that's, well, when it was new, it had 148 horsepower. The case tractor has 145, so they're pretty much like for like. So I don't know what that 115 number means on the side, but they're pretty much like for like. Let's get this fired up. All right, we'll leave that warming up. All oh, this is now fermented. It's all silage. <clears throat> I'm going to take that load and then I'm going to leave one one row at the back for the cow food just while that's warming up forgot to mention I phoned up the dealership this morning the Massey Ferguson has been has been painted it's all finished and I've had to pay them uh, it was 2048 pounds absolutely nuts it was a lot of money but that tractor is now sorted. Right, this is now warmed up sufficiently. Let's take the first load up there. A heavy load, but it is, uh, it is a lot of bales of silage, and silage is, <laughs> can be quite heavy. All right, so here we are. I think this first turn, yep, this first turn to BGA on the right. Look at that, some old citrons. <laughs> uh, Okay, just park this up here, and I'll find out what uh, what the deal is. Right, so that's the first load all unloaded. They let me use their pretty cool electric uh, telehandler, which is pretty wicked. It actually sits in the garage over there uh, on charge most of the time, but that is um, yeah, it's very cool. Make sure I switched it off. How would I know? There we go. That's off. Um, right, I'm going to go back and get load two. Now you may be asking yourself, well, how am I going to load up load two without a front loader tractor? That's a very good question. So I have actually asked Sheila if I could just borrow hers for a couple of hours. And she said, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, let's get back and get the second load. Nice to be in this Massey again. Right, I'm gonna get these loaded onto the trailer. Doesn't matter if I pierce the uh, the bales because they'll be going straight into the anaerobic digester anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll get this done, and I'll see you in a minute. Right, there we go. The last two for this load. Still got, I think, probably one more load to go. So, uh, yeah, I think one more load should do it. So I'll leave this here. So we've got the telehander at the other end. 
Let's get these all strapped on. There we go. And we'll make the trip up there again. Now I'm fully aware that we're not going to get paid for these today, so I don't think that I will be able to pick up those other those bits of equipment until tomorrow. Uh, which is a bit disappointing, but that's just the way it is, isn't it? I'm not going to be using them before then anyway, so... All I've got planned over winter is to get them, um, get them fixed up and make sure they're fully working. Right, let's crack on with this. And then when I've done the other load, I'll see you again. Okay, so it turns out that we have provided a lot of silage and the anaerobic digester is full. I'll just climb up on these ones. <laughs> Absolutely full to the brim. So um so yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be running it and they're gonna get, keep keeping these ones and putting them in as soon as uh, there's room. They've kept the ones with the um with the uh, the wrapping mostly intact, uh, but I have got another load that I need to get rid of. So um, I think we're going to bring that other load up here anyway, and and stack it up here. But I've got a feeling this is going to generate us a fair amount of money. Anyway, let's go get this. Let's go, go get this other load. Okay, time for the final load. It might not be a full load, we'll see how many we have left, but, uh... Let's go for it. Okay, it's the last two. I'm getting, I think I'm getting a bit more used to using these front loads of tractors and getting them, uh, getting everything loaded up. Anyway, that's left a good few for the cow food. Uh, let's, i tell you what, let's take Sheila's tractor back now, that'll be, uh be better wouldn't it then we'll strap all those up and take them down to the to, or take them up to the biogas plant yeah so I've got enough um enough for there for the the um the total mixed ration for the cows and uh, all I need now is something to load them into the, uh, the trailer with no I was thinking you know if we get enough money for this maybe we don't need a front loader tractor maybe we just maybe we look at getting a, a telehandler or something I just I don't know how much they are or you know what what we could consider but it's worth it's worth thinking about a second hand telehandler or something like that let me know what you think but uh, yeah in the meantime let's put this back where we found it it was over in the in the side here Yeah, a nice old telehandler or something like that would be would be perfect to have on the on the farm with all the lifting that we have to do. Right then, I'll see you up at the biogas plant. I'll have to thank Sheila for that. She didn't want anything for it, which is fantastic. Anyway, I'll see you back at the biogas plant. Right then, let's get these unloaded. Some of them will go straight into the anaerobic digester, but uh, like the ones here that uh, that have lost their wrapping. But uh,
thing's quite tricky to use. Four wheel steering really helps though. Nice it being electric actually. There we go. Right, I'll get the rest stacked up. And then, um, yeah, see how it goes. Okay. So there we go, all unloaded, all stacked up. And actually, um, I've been getting notifications on my phone. The um, the money's already going into my bank account for the stuff that they're using. So that is absolutely amazing. It means that we're going to have a, a steady increase in money now, um, which is which is wonderful because it means that later today I probably can go pick up those uh, that that um, equipment that we bought. Anyway, first things first. Let's get this parked up over there where I found it, and then um, and then we'll get back to the farm, and we'll think about returning the maybe have some lunch, and then we'll start returning the um, the rental equipment, including the case tractor. Difficult to see the charger in this thing. Right. There we go. Lovely. That's it. Look at that. I don't think I need to plug it in because it's it's fully charged already. So um that's great. Well that's a job well done. Now it's time to get back. Really could do with giving this tractor a wash, so I think we'll do that when we get home. Bale trailers. So all the stuff that's got to go back is the uh, the case tractor, the plow, the blade plow that they lo they loaned me. I say loaned, I rented. Um, the bale trailer and. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure I've already taken the, the windrower back. I, should, I hope I have, otherwise it's going to be another 100 quid and I didn't get any extra use out of it. Yeah, pretty sure I've taken the windrower back. So, um, so yeah, that's all got to go back. And then I've got £3,500 that I need to pay off of the, the bits I bought from the farm store area. There's the uh, second-hand uh, hay bob and the um, the planter. So yeah, so if if you know if we get that much money, then I'll go and um, pay that off, and that'll be cracking. And then we'll see how we do overnight in terms of money coming in for the uh, for, for the silage, and we'll um, yeah we'll we'll see how much we've got to play with when it comes to a, a loader. Of some description, whether it's a telehandler, whether it's a front loader tractor, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Right then, we're back. I've given the Dusvar a nice clean, it looks lovely. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I think I was right. The windrow went, the rail went back. It's just the plough. The case tractor and the bale trailer that need to go back. Ooh, look at this. The wheat and the canola have germinated. Oh, that's brilliant news. That is absolutely brilliant news. We can get some fertilizer on this then. Oh, that's good news. Now I can't bring fertilizer back with the Massey Ferguson because it hasn't got its front loader at the minute and it would probably be too heavy for it. 
I'll have to go pick some up when I uh, when I go pick the other tools up. Although that's going to be a lot more money again. So maybe that's something we can do next vlog. Yes, one of the once one of the silage money's come in, we'll have to do that next vlog. Uh, now I told you that the Massey Ferguson was ready. I've paid the uh, two thousand and forty-eight pounds that they wanted for the um, for the paint job, which is a lot of money. But then paint jobs are a lot of money. Um, the other thing that I wanted to ask them was for some narrow tyres, because that's the that's the um, the tractor I want to use for fertilising and things on on the uh, the wheat and the and the the rapeseed oil right. So, um, oh, see, rape, sorry. So, um, I'm going to give them a call and see if they've, they've, they've got any in stock to fit for me. So, yes, they did have some narrow tyres. They're going to get them fitted for me this afternoon. So, when I've dropped everything else back, I can pick it up with the narrow tyres on, which is fantastic news. Unfortunately, they did cost me a thousand pounds, which I had. Knowing that that money's coming in tonight from the silage, I'm sort of okay to spend it. Right, I'm going to pop back home and get some lunch, and then we will we'll see how uh, we'll get things uh, loaded up, ready to return to the dealership. Right, so I've had my lunch now. I'm going to return this with a, a full tank of fuel because that's what they've, they've requested. I'm also going to give it a quick wash as if I bring things back nice and clean and uh, with a full tank of fuel then more likely to give me better better options and discounts in the future. I'm going to miss this tractor. It's been absolutely brilliant. Oh yes, I left that one in the way, didn't I? Okay, let's shift that. Lovely and clean, as if it was new. Oh, it is new. <laughs> Only 1.8 hours on the clock, and that's all me. just a case of getting the plough on the trailer as well. Or, actually no, it would probably be a better option to hook it up to the front three point linkage, wouldn't it? Should have done that before hooking the trailer up, but it's an easy enough trailer to reverse. Okay. Yep. Actually, very easy trailer to use. Let's get back to the dealership then. I 
can't believe how well those they've those fields have germinated. Have to get some uh, fertilizer on them before they grow too much. Right then, let's go in and talk to them. Right, so they've told me to leave it there. They'll sort it all out for me, which is great. They did thank me for giving it a wash and uh, and, and filling, filling the tank up, but, you know, filling the tank up is part of the deal, but uh, washing it's not necessarily. So yeah, they're going to sort all that out. They've said that my uh, my tractor's around here. Ah, look at that! All ready for us. Look at the paint job. Oh well, that looks really good. Look at that. How good's that? Beautiful. Right, let's get in it. Oh yes. Wonderful little tractor this is. And now with those uh, row crop tyres. It's going to be, yeah, so good for doing, doing things like... Um, Fertilising and stuff. Yeah, because I was I was getting it all painted up, ready to sell as, as a as a decent classic classic tractor. But to be honest, I'm going to keep it garaged and use it for for little jobs like uh, like the fertilising and like the uh, and possibly even like the um, sugar beet harvesting or, or something. Maybe to use with that old tool we we found in the hedgerow. That'd be quite spectacular. Anyway, time to head back. I'm going to park it at the end of the workshop here. Keep it in, in the garage, nice and dry. There we go. Well, I'm extremely pleased with how well that's turned out. Beautiful looking machine. And it's going to be very useful, I think. Now, what to do now? Just... I'd love to get some fertiliser onto here. But for that, I need to go and pick up some fertiliser. Right, here we are. Looks like they've already got the case back on display, which is good news. They're obviously happy with my cleaning job then. Right then, so... going to need to... Get the fertilizer into the back of this. I guess we'll be using the uh, the forklift there, which is fine. You would not believe how much fertilizer costs nowadays. One thousand eight hundred and twenty pounds for this bag. That's just crazy. But I can't I can't do without it. All right, let's get the forklift and get it to uh, get it loaded into the car. I'm relying heavily on this uh, silage money that's coming in. Right then, parked it up here. Take this strap off it. 
Well, we should be able to unload it into the fertilizer here, which is exactly what we need to do. Okay, so we'll start off with the oil, oil, the canola field, the oil seed rape. Let's get it done. So uh, that's just us finishing off this. The obviously the wheat took a lot more fertilizer than the canola because because we we didn't um, spread spread muck on the uh, on the wheat field before we planted, but we did on the canola. So anyway, once again that tract has been amazing. Still got quite a lot of fertilizer in there, so I'll have to empty that out. I'm going to get everything put away, but I'm going to stop the vlog there on this beautiful sunset and uh, yeah I'll see you again soon bye for now a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to Hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride.